But in this experiment, he beat people, and whenever the subjects were beat, they were supposed to write down what they were doing, and also what their level of happiness or satisfaction was at that particular moment. And you know, this was before there was a lot of focus on the climate crisis, which wasn't even obviously a crisis at that point to a lot of people. But but already he noticed um, a small but significant inverse correlation between how happy people were and the number of BTUs per hour they were generating. So the more energy people used, on average, the less happy they were. And I find that pretty intuitive, you know, because when we go kayaking on the lake and these people go by on jet skis, I think, I'm having more fun than you are. <laughs> but, um, anyway, it's, it's just interesting to me to think about, you know, everything is framed in terms of the compromises and privations that people will have to undergo, um, you know, to transition to a sustainable world. And, you know, honestly, it's like if the choice is between that and like not surviving, it seems like a pretty easy choice. But, but the funny thing is that in so many of these things, it really isn't, there is really no downside to a lot of these things. It's just a matter of, of changing things that we take for granted, um, which is difficult, you know, psychologically, like which isn't necessarily something unpleasant or actually difficult to carry out. Certainly hasn't felt that way um, for us on this, on this tour. 